Peter Cameron, who is uh, speaking today for the National Civil Defence Controller. So welcome. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. It's such a pleasant evening here in the, the land of paradise, I see. It's humbling to come to this community which has weathered such hard times and done so well in response. And as a, as a citizen of Christchurch, I'm really proud of the way in which our community has responded. The National Controller's role is to allocate resources from national and international partners and bring it to Christchurch and put it to best use for the people of Christchurch. This morning I reviewed a list, uh, about an A-size three, and several pages thick, of offers of assistance from, in, from the international community. So they're really, uh, you are really on their minds. Expect the National Declaration to remain in place for a few more weeks whilst we get to grips and focus on solving the problems. Operational priorities for a start, obviously, we're focused on the USAR operation in the CBD during the last week to rescue, rescue people and to recover deceased. The focus is now on your well-being. The largest scale of, this is the largest scale disaster in New Zealand and is unprecedented. The response is the largest, most complex undertaking that New Zealand has embarked on, hence the declaration of a national emergency. Your response to the earthquake has no precedence in New Zealand, and I applaud your efforts under very difficult conditions. Welfare is now our focus, and welfare all includes the provision of water, sewage and electricity, which fortunately you seem to have over here in Littleton. We know we've not been able to get it correct all the time, but we will give our best effort, and that now is a chance for you to tell us where and what we can improve things and help you out even more. We're available, John and myself, after this meeting to, for, to discuss your issues. Thanks for your patience, for your fortitude, your, your resilience as a community in very tough circumstances. The operational te response team aims to help you and the people of Littleton to get back on their feet. Thank you.